SCP-5007 Humans Balloon. <laughs> the thumbnail was very, very weird. It also says Base Strait or Bass Strait. I think it has something to do with the ocean <laughs> tentacles, maybe. We're going to find out about it in this video, guys. This one's by The Rubber. Make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos. And let's get into this one. Hello, everybody. I'm The Rubber. Hey, Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Keto Class Objects SCP-5007. And it's a Keto Class. SCP-5007, as known as Bass Strait, is Bass the corrected okay. designation of malicious, partially humanoid entities that maintain a territory across the Bass Strait. <laughs> this area of the ocean uh, divides Tasmania and the Australian mainland, and it has been known for a string of disappearances within this range. Uh, the morphology of 5007 often varies. Universally, disgusting. 5007 are composed of groups of between two and nine human bodies, fused okay. together amidst large clusters of black tentacles. Uh. These tentacles appear to <laughs> vary in length between approximately 2 and 70 meters. The Additionally, streaming. they appear fused to the skin where they touch directly. Uh. Of note are the stomachs of 5007, uh. which are grossly distorted and right. swollen to sizes approaching 15 to 20 meters in diameter. This thing's huge, Instances too! Are capable of passive flight, attaining buoyancy through enormous quantities of gases produced within uh. their stomachs. There we Across go. the surface of these organs, Eyeballs most specimens the tentacles? develop clusters of simple eyes and bioluminescent organs. 5007 so are known to well. abduct human beings. They okay. appear able to navigate all weather with minimal difficulty, regardless of clear its, uh, or hostile its skies. Mass, I guess? 5007 will move towards the shore, stalking the intended victim for oh, a short time no. before lowering numerous tentacles and appendages down to the proximity of the subject to physically grab them. Right. Once the victims are securely captured, they will return to the open water at great speed, often okay. in excess of 320 kilometers per it's hour. Scary, Foundation dude. team it's successfully fast. interviewed over 120 witnesses and soon discovered that in a vast majority of cases, the abductions were both preceded and followed by reports of lights in the sky. Likewise, there were also Weird. more concrete sightings of unidentified flying objects described as looking like balloons. Okay. The first successful visual recordings were accomplished in late 1982. Okay. It was successfully captured and transported to Site 40 for containment. How do you catch something It was then designated as SCP 5007 S1. Okay. After the containment of 5007-S1, it was determined that there must be at least 16 instances of 5007 as oh, yet wow. unaccounted for. Okay. One of the so reefs located of in the central Bass Strait has been proven to be the home and origin of 5007 and has been dubbed SCP-5007-A. Okay. There is a large pit in the center of 5007-A, measuring 33 meters in diameter and extending to an as yet unknown depth below the surface of the water. Sure. This pit has been dubbed SCP-5007-B, and unmanned exploration via drones has shown it to have a depth of at least 4,000 meters. That's pretty Water deep. <laughs> samples collected from 5007-B contain large quantities of human DNA human and an DNA. unknown biological compound. Weird. Additionally, the presence of a large entity below 5007-B has been suspected for some time. Okay. This entity has been designated SCP-5007-C. In order to determine the nature of 5007-C, D-50798 uh, was instructed to dive to the bottom of 5007-B <laughs> to observe the environment and describe significant depth, depth to, uh, readings. Give us some, uh, Below is the footage that was recorded by the cameras that camera mounted on the exterior of the SCPS Nautilus. All systems are good. I'm ready to submerge. Go SCPS for it, buddy. SCPS Nautilus is lowered into 5007-B. Looking good, <laughs> headed down, glass, seeing a lot of strange black yellow vines growing around the walls That's of the not trench. Vines, man. A that large is, 5007 that is instance comes into view, clinging to a rocky outcropping. All of its eyes follow the SCPS Nautilus, and uh -huh. many of the previously seen tendrils are uh. wrapped around the specimen and inside of its orifices, particularly uh. the mouths and noses of the individuals composing the bulk of the specimen. Oh my god. Is that gosh. a plane it's holding on to? Uh, 528 meters down? Another <laughs> 135 5007 instances are seen at 5,391 oh meters deep, along with 58 overgrown plane wrecks. 
At this depth, natural light cannot penetrate through to illuminate what they are seeing. Right. How am I not at the bottom? They said <laughs> they didn't think it went deeper than 4,000 meters. I'm glad those things don't seem interested in me. Thank goodness. The SCPS Nautilus passes a badly damaged human arm, which appears to have been crushed. The arm is visibly twitching. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 5,800 meters now, seeing human remains. Uh, god, I can't wait to get back up and go home. I wouldn't mind just going back to prison at this point. So it doesn't it feels eat so him, it just kind of just destroys him or something? The SCPS Nautilus passes into a brine pool, and visibility drops. Visibility is even worse down here. 6,000 meters now. That's the human DNA they were talking about? Ugh. The SCPS Nautilus enters a large mass of human remains similar to the arm he encountered previously. The remains all appear to have been crushed and drained of. Just However, crushed. However, the eyes Drain. remain intact. D-5007-98 can be heard hyperventilating as they enter this area. Each individual floating in this area is alive and attempting to move despite oh. the enormous damage to their bodies. Oh my All god. All can be seen visibly observing the SCPS Nautilus as it passes them. Oh my god. This can't be possible. There are still How alive? Are they moving? At this point, exactly. the remains are, they are attempting animated? to grab the SCPS Nautilus and communicate uh, with it. They're Bumping like zombies or whatever. Inside the submersible as they bump against it. They're saying something. Oh god. They're talking to me. What are they saying? One set of partial remains floats in front of the SCPS Nautilus, looking directly at the camera. Go back. They're saying, go back. Oh, oh no, go back. I can't do this. They're I can't. warning him. I've gone down 6,700 meters. I'm not going any further. SCPS Nautilus's wow. rate of descent is seen to slow, but passes the mass of human remains into clear water again. At this Thank moment, D-5007-98 can be heard performing calming breathing exercises wow, for 19 minutes. Wow, I guess minutes. so, bro. Okay, let's oh, boy's keep going. traumatized. Currently at 7,208 meters down, a large black tentacle can be seen rapidly emerging from below. Uh -oh. It is approximately 8 meters in diameter uh -oh. and features eight numerous yellow diameter? eyes growing on it. That's this tentacle enormous. proceeds to wrap uh -oh. around the Nautilus You're and dead. begins to rapidly drag it down. You're dead. D-5007-98 can be heard panicking and Poor expressing guy, distress man. during this process. Expressing distress? Eight more tentacles can be seen rising towards the Nautilus. Three of these possess Mouths. large openings on their ends, which proceed to open as they approach the submersible revealing large clusters of eyes, mouths, and human heads seemingly uh, grafted to the tentacles. A mass of thin tentacles emerge, holding two victims. The tentacles proceed to press the individuals together, causing them to fuse together by unknown means. Both oh, individuals making... show signs of significant distress. Oh my the tentacles God. proceed to further alter both victims before thin green tentacles enter the frame from above and force themselves into the victim's abdomens, which begin to swell. This is disgusting! Suddenly, the entire frame is filled by an enormous eye ringed with tentacles, large claws, and human <laughs> Look at the remains. faces, dude! It is estimated to be at least 650 That's how I feel right now, too! It's diameter. like, what the hell? D-5007-98 can be heard screaming for the entire duration of this portion of footage. Oh my god! The Nautilus is rapidly ascending. Though the cameras are partially obscured by an so unknown substance. So it let it go? D-5007-98 can be he, heard babbling. He's and insane. Vomiting. The Nautilus God. reaches the surface. Recovery teams successfully the recover the submersible. Upon the recovery of the Nautilus, it was found that the submersible was almost entirely covered in a thick organic coating with yeah. dozens of eyes growing from it. Right. Upon their extrication from the Nautilus, D-5007-98 immediately attempted to attack Foundation personnel and harm themselves. What? They showed signs of anomalous physical alteration, namely the growth of numerous eyes over their upper body oh. and arms. On-site security determined that D-5007-98 was a threat to personnel safety and immediately terminated them with small arms fire. Poor guy, man. Poor guy, poor guy. This man got traumatized. But can you imagine seeing that happen in front of you? Like, oh, this 
this got to be this good. Like the, the rubber face was just watching in horror as this was going on in the camera feed. Hilarious, man. Guys, the rubber, make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is a good sign off. We'll see you next time.